glancing at some old observers from 1994, and they mention the heavenly bodies working for Giant Baba. How did they fare in Japan? What was their relationship with Baba like? And did Jim go with them? Well, we, we can answer that already, <laughs> but I'll just add something connected. Was Jim offered a chance to go with them? And there's the question. Uh, well, no, and I wouldn't have uh, not... <laughs> I don't want to just piss all over and say, no, I wouldn't go there. No, I wouldn't have been able to go had I wanted to go because I was running Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Um, and that was the – the deal was that a, a chance to go to Japan had come up through the funks because, for example, when uh, um, they had that big uh, uh, benefit – I think it was the big benefit for John Ayers. It, it was a, the Chevy dealership in town sponsored it in Amarillo, yeah. and they had – they filled up the Civic Center like 6,000 people. It was – oh, my god. And uh, we had uh, – Dory and Terry had been working for me in Knoxville and asked would the bodies and I come down and work on that show for them. And it ended up – the bodies worked with Dick Murdoch and Dory Funk Jr., which was great because it was Eddie Gilbert, I think, against Terry Funk in the main event that night. Um, so, and actually, it was probably more fun with Dory and Dick Murdoch. But working in Amarillo in the Civic Center, a sold-out crowd on this big show that the Funks put together, and and with you know that was cool. And Dory was so impressed that he wanted the the bodies to go to Japan, which, as memory serves me. We had already arranged that much. I was going to give them time off, a month off to go to Japan when uh, also we had been making shots for the WWF and they got interested in bringing them up full time. And I didn't really want to lose them from the Smoky Mountain roster, but I also didn't want them to hate me for the rest of my life for, for not letting them go and actually, you know, make the big checks. So we worked it out where they would finish up in Smoky Mountain, as I believe I remember. They finish up in Smoky Mountain right before the tour of Japan, and then when they came back, they went to on the road with the WWF. I believe that's the way it went. And so that was the one time they went. I, I, I think Doc has been before, but not in the in the body's team. But uh, so they didn't, really didn't get a chance to you know, develop a longstanding relationship with Baba. It was because the Funks have always been Baba's uh, American talent bookers. So they had more of a relationship with Dorian Terry because we had all worked together so much. And Tom had known the Funks since he, he started watching the Funks. He's from West Texas. So even before they moved to the family moved to Houston, uh, he was watching the Funks in Amarillo when he was six years old. So, uh, they had a great relationship. And uh, what was the other part of the question, or was there one? And no, I, d I didn't go. I couldn't have gone. I couldn't have left the territory for a month. My God, can you imagine if I left Smoky Mountain Wrestling for a fucking month and went to Japan? By the time I came back, I don't know if my house would have still been standing. Yeah. Somebody would have made off with everything. In 94? Yeah, that's exactly what would have happened. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever worry about Dory Funk uh, in the sense that, um, you know, him being the American booker, and he got the bodies, and then he got Candido hooked up over there. Did you ever worry about the idea that if too many of your guys got Japan deals, it would hurt you? You know, I saw that with Mid-South, where even though Mid-South was the best, it got to the point where guys kept getting injured or kept disappearing off TV because they had Japanese tours where they yeah, made well, lots of money. I No, I didn't mind because, I, if, if number one, in Mid-South, they were working, obviously, we all know this, six, seven, eight times a week. Uh, regardless of whatever month it was, um, I was running th an average of uh, 12 to 15 shows a month. So three to four days a week. And a, a couple of those were spot shows. Several of those were spot shows uh, per uh, per week. And the guys weren't making a ton of money, although the rock and roll was certainly the kings of the merchandise table. Um, and they were probably making more money than if, they, if they'd have the Rock and Roll Express probably made more money in Smoky Mountain than WCW would have given for a contract on gimmicks. But I digress. The point is, I, if I had a way to send guys to Japan, if they came to work for me, they would come to work for me for four hundred dollars a week for three months. If they knew that they might be able to get booked for a, a shot in Japan to make 15 or two grand a week, even starting out in those days or whatever or more. So it would have been a, a, a it was a benefit there, and I wanted to see guys like Candido get a chance to do that. Um, Watts, on the other hand, most of the time when he was running to territory, he was paying top guys a couple grand a week, no matter who or when it was. Well, some people might argue with that, um, <laughs> and you know, and he didn't want to lose anybody. But he also, it, when you got Doctor Death, Terry Gordy, 
of, you know, a couple of those other big studs in the same territory, I didn't, I didn't see that I was going to have a, a, a roster that, that uh, Baba was going to diminish, uh, you know, just uh, every tour with a bunch of guys that were going to be d- on in demand in Japan to that level. Was Japan ever a concern for you when you booked someone, you know, beyond this scenario? Like, for instance, you know, you're bringing Chris Jericho. You know, Chris Jericho already has been working in Japan. Did you ever worry about bringing in someone who already had the Japanese commitments and relationships that that would hamper anything you tried to do with them? Well, no, because once again, in those days, uh, if, if you knew months in advance uh, if, if somebody was going to go to Japan because they were on the – it wasn't like in Ring of Honor is when it drove me crazy. I'd get a call or an email saying, oh, somebody just said they're going to be in Japan Tuesday. What? Uh, that's the way they do things now. But in those days, if if a guy in January, a guy would say, hey, I'm on Baba's April tour. Okay. What's the dates? Boom. I, I, one time I had a problem. Abdullah the Butcher, Thanksgiving Thunder 94, was going to come in and work as my hired bounty hunter hitman against Bullet Bob. And we were all set and everything was all arranged. I think it was four days in a row. And I did the video packages and everything. We produced all the TV. And then he calls me like 10 days out and says, oh, brother, I got a chance to go to Japan and did the blah, 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 blah. And I just I tuned out after that. He did. They didn't do things on that short of notice. Uh, no, he was back, even that. back in those days. But yeah, so he could have probably told me it, he probably by the time he heard and got around to telling me. But anyway, uh, but no, you know, once again, it was, I mean, they, a lot of times, if you had a territory like the Carolinas or mid South or, you know, New York was a separate thing because they dealt with the for most of their talent and he did shorter tours and different things, but you know, you knew ahead of time and you just had to put up with it. If the guy's going to go over there and make twice as much as he's making for you, you know, but uh, if the the big territories didn't didn't like doing it, and and that's why uh, when I mentioned the 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 Fantastics used to go in the eighties, and a lot of times it would disrupt a push that they might have in Dallas or somewhere domestically, but they were making three times as much money going to to Japan, whereas the spots at the Midnight and I were usually in, we w- might have made a little bit more money, but we would have gone all the way to fucking Japan to do it. And I don't know what I would have done there. And and you, we would have fucked up our continuity in the States, and we were always figured in. So it just never came up. 